Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Naz with Hijabs and You with another tutorial. Today we're going to use a rectangular shawl. We're going to put together this hijab tutorial very quick, very easy. I'm going to show you two different styles. It's just your regular everyday style. It looks a little bit fancier because it is a bit of a, it's a very casual school, uh, shawl. All it has, it has some blinks on it that makes it look a little bit fancier and really it just brightens up the mood. You know, outside is a bit dark, it's starting to snow. And so when you put these on, you feel, you know, it brightens that you wow. And, and that's, that's it. So stay with me and let me show you how we get this really beautiful look. I'm going to show you how we uh, put together this one. And there's another one that's your regular everyday hijab style. So stay with me. So my dear viewers, let me show you how I got this really simple look. It's a beautiful shawl. It's got some blings on it, and we're going to put together a very, very easy, easy hijab to draw, quick and easy. So now it's a rectangular shawl. We're going to have a short side and a longer side. We're going to get this done very quickly. I've got my ninja on to cover, and here I'm going to fold this in a little bit, and I'm going to bring it to the very end. Bring it down here, put some pressure, and fold it in. Now I'm going to use a safety pin. And this is the shorter side. So I'm just going to pull it so it has some nice length here. But it's just the shorter side. I'm going to take the longer side going to wrap it around. I'm going to put my finger here to give some space and then I'm just going to bring the shawl over. Simple, simple wrap. We've got coverage in the front. I'll show you what the back looks like. And that's it. Simple and easy. You have a rectangular shawl. You have to, uh, you don't, some of the girls don't like to wear the cap on. You don't have to wear the cap on. But for me, I find like with the shawl, if you are wearing a under cap, it kind of keeps it in place all day. You don't have to worry about it. Like here, I have no pins and we are going to be like that for all day it would not move because there is something that's holding the cap together here now if you want to put a little bit of a um, bring that up a bit we're going to use one of these headless pins and we can bring that up and give it that nice look in the front that gives uh, that's going to show your forehead a bit more but some of the girls like it that way so all you do is you use a pin it doesn't show because you're using a you can use any pin that you have whatever it is but you just pull it up a bit give it a little tuck here and you are done ready to go how simple was that that was quite easy wasn't it and there you go what it looks like absolutely gorgeous 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 I hope you like that now I'm going to show you how we can use the same shawl and we're going to put together a very quick another style very quickly so stay with me Oh, my dear viewers let's put the second style in place now it's a short side and a long side and what we're going to do again we're going to just bring it to the very end of my cap put some pressure here and fold it in a bit and we're just going to use a safety pin again just to pin it here Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold up here, bring it over from, from the back, give it a nice fold here. We're going to put a stick pin here just to keep the fold in place and you can use any pin. Now we're going to use another, bring another fold from the other side. And we're going to 
use another stick pin right here. See how nice it gives it a nice crisscross there. And then we're going to use this, the shorter side, and we're going to bring it very, very nicely. We're going to bring that to the other side. We're giving it a nice, neat look. I'm going to bring this over and give it a pin right here. And we can take that one out. We'll take that one out in a bit. We're just showing you how to get this very, very, very quickly. Now what we're going to do with the second side, this here, the longer side, we're going to bring that And we're going to bring it all the way to the back. It's absolutely gorgeous, my dear viewers. There's lots of room to work with. You have lots of fabric. And when you bring that over here, we took this pin out, like I said to you before, we just, we just put it in place there to keep the fabric in place. And we're going to use that here. Now, I'm just going to leave it there for now until I work with it because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, we're going to bring some of the fabric from the back because there's lots of it. Just making it look really, really full. See that? How beautiful that is? This here was the other side, so this stays in place. This doesn't go anywhere. That's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, my dear viewers, we've got pleats happening. And now to keep those pleats in place, I'm going to use a stick pin and you can use one of the longer ones. So it keeps everything in place. Look how beautiful that is. And because it's got some blinks on the scarf, it looks really 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 elegant and then on this side we're just going to fix our plates and because it's also got the blinks on the side usually some of the scarves they only have the blinks on one side this one have the blinks on both sides so let's just fit our scarf so we have coverage my dear viewers we are looking for our scarf to have coverage that it looks you know it's not really that high it's got some coverage in here see that make sure that there's some coverage in the front and then we can and make sure the back is also covered and we'll just let that sit there And now I'm going to use, I'm going to take this pin out of here that I was using just for working with the scarf and take that little pin out of there. And I'm going to use a longer stick pin and pin it right here. And now we can just fit our shawl. And I've got my tag here. I'm going to cut that out soon. And we've got this really nice, full, flowing look. And if you want to keep your scarf in place, you put just some little stick bins just to keep the scarf in place. And again, we'll do that on the other side as well. And this is absolutely gorgeous. And I will put a stick pin right there just to keep my pleats nicely in place and nothing to worry about. And we are done. To show you what that looks like. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. My dear viewers, this is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. We want to make sure that we'll make sure that I don't like to see that there's no coverage in the back. We must have coverage in the back. So make sure that when you put your scarf up on the top, you have coverage in the back as well. Okay, so there's enough scarf there. 
Yes, there is. We have coverage there. We have coverage in the front and we are absolutely done. Very easy. It, it's not complicated. It's just a matter of folding it a little bit, giving us some, um, we're giving ourselves some, how do you say, some folds, some plates to give you that really nice full look. But it's simple. It's just a wrap and, and folding it into plates. I hope you like that. Well, my dear viewers, if you did like that, please do try it out. Uh, you know, share it with your friends and family. Let's build a platform where we are sharing. And everyone that shares it and someone gets to see this hijab tutorial and they benefit from it, you are going to get the rewards for it. And I will also get the rewards for it. And so I'm working really hard for these rewards. So my dear viewers, please do share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do hit the subscribe button, click on the bell icon and take off the alt so that you won't miss any of my uploads. And from today onwards, my schedule is changing a bit. I'm going to be uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays. I hope you are going to stay with me with that. Um, I just need to bring you good stuff and I really want to work really hard on this platform. So like I said, I'm going. To, my schedule is changing. It's now Wednesdays and Sundays is my upload time. And uh, inshallah, stay with me and you will benefit a whole lot. My dear viewers, I do have another channel. It's called Soothing Soulful Rhythms. It is for meditation. It is for relaxation. So please do check that out. It's Soothing Soulful Rhythms. And I uh, guarantee you, you're going to enjoy that as well. So please do check that out. For all of you out there who has been with me and helping me to build this platform, I do thank each and every one of you for your love and your support. Do stay with me. We've got a lot more to go. And you know what? If you enjoy this and it benefits you and someone out there gets to benefit from this platform, you know what? We've, we've done good. And that's all we're looking for. I started this platform with you in mind so that I can share with you this hijab tutorial. I've always been involved with, you know, dressing up my sisters and in selling the, the, the bias and the scarves. And today I'm on this platform only because of you, because of my love for you and for the hijab. So please do stay with me and share it. My dear viewers, we do have uh, COVID-19 very, 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 very much out there. So please do your bit to stay safe. Take care of your families. Do, 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 do your bit to stay at home. Don't party. It's not a good time for it. So do your bit to stay safe. Wherever you are in the world, it's everywhere. So please do your bit to stay safe. Until we meet again, this is Naz saying, Assalamu Alaikum.